Welcome back, everybody. Hey there, Graham. Hi, Bashir. Hi, everybody. Graham, a uh, student in your class, Marion, sent in a great question. Thank you, Marion. Wanted to share it with everyone, and maybe you could help us out with it. See what we can do. What's the question? So Marion asks, essentially, when is a jump to game signing off? And, of course, when isn't it? Good question. It is a good question. I wonder I wonder that all the time. Thank you, Marion. Good one. Okay, let's take a look. Um, there's a bit of confusion about this, so we've got a couple of hands to demonstrate it and, and simplify the whole thing. Okay, Bajir, so we've got the system set up to play is, I think we're playing standard today, so that one no trump is 15 to 17. Mm -hmm. If you're playing alcohol with a 12 to 14 no trump, it doesn't matter. The general principle is still going to apply here. Oh, okay, thanks for that. Right, so North has opened one no trump, so that shows 15 to 17 points mm -hmm. and a balanced hand. So that means that North has either got two or three or four spades. Some people open a no trump with a five card major, that's okay, but most of the time it's going to be two, three or four spades. Mm -hmm. So, Bajir, I'm going to put you on the hot spot here, on the hot seat. Okay. All right. Okay. It's always hot. Do we have enough points for game? Yeah, we sure do. All right. 15 to 17 and we got 10. We're going to game. Have we got enough points for slam? No. All right. You're two out of two. All right. So far, so good. Thank you, everybody. See you next video. And no, 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 no. Come ah. on, come, come. We got enough for game. We don't have enough for slam. Mm. Do we want to play in spades or no trumps? Uh, I mean, spades. Because yeah, you're hot to trot today, man. You've got three out of three. All right. Who's with okay. me? High fives all around. Okay. Okay, it's a really simple hand when you think about it. We've got enough for game. Mm -hmm. We don't have enough for slam. We have a spade fit. So the right contract is almost certainly going to be four spades. Mm. That's it. We so we're going to operate to it. Spades. Yeah. Now, some of you might be playing transfers or you might want to do something weird, but there's really four spades. We're going to end up in four spades. If we bid four spades now, mm. do we want North to keep going? Mm, probably not. I, I mean, North has already told us everything about his hand. Right, Bajir, that's, that's it. North has told us 15 to 17 points. And balance. So North, and balance. So North has told us everything. North has handed over control to us. Mm. We've decided, we know that four spades is the right contract, and we bid four spades. Mm. So bid four spades. Well, let's but do that. We'll have a quick look. We No need to play it out. We'll just have a quick look when we see. Okay. Yeah, and that looks pretty good. We, we Looks like we have a diamond to lose. Uh, Maybe the heart finesse works, or maybe the spades break. The four spades looks like a pretty good contract. Mm. Okay, and so... so one, one. Yeah, go ahead. When, when your partner has made a limit bid, like one no trump here, mm. or any limit bid, and you jump to four spades or some game, that's it. That's the finish. That's signing off if it's following a limit bid. Right. Okay. Let's try, can you bring up hand number two, please? Yes, I can. All right. Let me know if everyone can see that okay. That's great. Okay, so North has opened one heart. And again, it doesn't matter too much whether we're, what system we're playing, but in this case, the, we're set up to play five card majors. So North mm. is showing five card heart suit. Again, don't don't worry too much if you're playing echo. The principle is still the same. Mm. 
Okay. Mills is open on hard. Now I'm just going to talk through this one because it's um, mm, not messy, but let's just talk it through. So if I bid two hearts here, that would be showing six to nine points and a heart fit. And I've got six points. So two hearts sort of looks like about the right bid. Six to mm. nine points and a heart fit. Mm. But calling that hand six to nine points doesn't really do justice to the hand because we've got a singleton spade. Mm. So that gives us extra playing strength. Mm. We've got a five card heart suit. So we've got a 10 card heart fit and a singleton spade. So this hand is really much stronger than six to nine points. Two hearts right. just wouldn't try this hand very well. Right. Now you could bid three hearts, but a very common um, approach for this type of hand is just to simply bid four hearts. Hmm. I know it's shortened points, but we've got a we've got a massive heart fit. We've got a singleton spade, so we just bid four hearts. The idea yeah. being, okay, even if we might not have enough strength for game, for, uh, enough high card points for to bid to game, the strength of our hand, especially combined with what we know about partners, more often than not, it would make it worth it to just jump to game here. Great. Perfect answer. That's right. Now, four hearts is going to make a lot of the time, but if partner has just a really bad hand of minimum opening, and if four hearts goes down, then it's highly likely that the opposition would have been able to make maybe four spades their way. Mm. So this is a really good uh, two-way bid. We're either going to make four hearts or we're going to completely block east and west out of the bidding. And and it, am I right? The the risk if we just try to tiptoe there, one we could be left in two hearts because partner doesn't know about this extra strength that you 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 uh, talked us through. And if we just tiptoe up, it gives east and west. It gives the opponents a chance to find their own fit. There you go. Perfect answer. Really good. Okay. So on this hand, we're just going to bid four hearts. Now, when we do that, mm -hmm. what we don't want to happen is we don't want Nor thinking, oh, my goodness. Wow. But she has jumped to four hearts here. He must have a good hand. And what we don't want is North to suddenly go on to six hearts. Right. So how are we going to stop, how are we going to make sure the message isn't confusing for North? Right, There's right, people. and which is, of course, returning to Marion's fantastic question. How do we make sure that partner knows this is a sign-off jumping to game versus the uh, other times when it might not be? Okay, so we've looked at one example already on the previous hand. A jump to game after a limit bid is mm. a sign-off. Okay. In this case, the, the second uh, situation is a jump to game on your first turn to bid is a sign off. Mm. A jump to game on your first turn to bid is a sign off. So mm. this is our first turn to bid, right? Mm. So it's stop. I haven't got a good hand. If I had a good hand, I'd do something else. First turn to bid, four hearts. Sign up. Nice and easy. Okay. Just, just to follow up a little bit, what if switching to North's perspective, if North has a secret that we don't know yet, if North has strength that he was just hoping to be able to tell us, is there, are there situations where he could still keep bidding? North's still allowed to do anything he wants. The important thing is we haven't told North that we've got a good hand. We said we've got a weak hand with a really good heart support. Now, if North, for some reason, decides that that's enough to go on, that's fine. But it's North's, you know, that's up to North. 
We North, have knowing that besides the heart fit, it has to be on North strength alone. We haven't said anything about our strength. Right. We basically said that a very, um, a, a way I like to think about this uh, for heart fit is around about six to, you know, six to nine points, seven or eight points, something like that. Mm. Five trumps and a singleton or four trumps and a void. Mm. And six to nine points those that's the typical sort of a hand mm, mm, mm. okay let's load up hand three okay just to muddy muddy the waters temporarily and then we're going to tidy it up again okay one diamond from north um it doesn't matter what whether we're playing alcohol or stand it doesn't matter that's just a diamond opening bit and as we are responding. So here, we we looks like we have a diamond fit, um, mm -hmm. but we don't really want to support the diamond straight away because we might have a spade fit. Mm. So here we can just simply bid one spade, change the suit. So that's forcing North can't leave us in one spade because we've changed suit. Right. Okay. Now I've got two questions for you. Sure. Two questions. First of all, when we do bid one speed, what's the minimum number of points that North could reasonably expect from our one speed bid? Ten. Maybe some people say nine. It's less. When we're changing suit at the one level, we only ah uh, the one level. Ah uh, uh, yes. Okay. So a uh, good point. If we were changing to a new suit at the two level. 10, 9, something like that. But when we're changing suit at the one level, it's just six. Only six, you know, maybe five, but around about six points. Okay. So we're going to bid one speed, and North is only going to expect six points in our hand. We've actually got a lot more, but North only expects six. Mm. Okay, second question. How many points... It's not difficult. How many points do we normally want to have to bid game between 20, the two? Hands? 25. All right. Okay. Okay. So there's two things. We're showing six, mm -hmm. and we normally need 25 points to bid game. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. One spade. Cool. Now what's going on here? Four spades. Now, before we jump into conclusions about false conclusions, that uh, it's a jump to game, so therefore it's a sign-off, let's just think this through. North has bid game not on his first turn to bid, mm -hmm. on his second turn to bid. And North has bid game when we've only promised six points. So how many points has North got? Oh, party time. That means North must have a really strong hand. If North feels confident jumping to game, he's guessing between us we have at least 25 points, and he only knows we have six. So does he have 19 points? Yeah, something like that, 18, 19 points. He must have. Now, he can't, it can't be that North has got you know, a massive speed fit or something. Because North didn't open one spade. North opened one diamond. Oh. So North's only got a four-card spade suit, mm. and he's jumping off to four spades. He's got to have a strong hand. And clearly that's not a sign-off then. Right. So if North's got 19, let's just do the maths. North's got 18, 19, say. We'll go, okay. let's call it 19, but it might be 18. So what have we got? We have four, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 high card points. 14, all right. And if North's got 19, how many points have we got between the two hands? It's slam time. It's not Point to the fences. Right. Okay. So it just doesn't make sense that that four spades is a sign off. It can't be a sign off. North is simply right. showing a very strong hand. Mm. If we want on we can so the simple way let's let's summarize these three hands 
these three situations. One, if partner has made a limit bid, then a jump to game is stop because partner's already described his hand or her hand. Right. A jump to game on your first turn to bid mm. shows is basically a sign off. It's just saying I've got a weak hand with lots of trumps. But a jump to game on your second turn to bid is um, shows strength, normal strong hand. So let's, uh, why don't we bid six spades here and see what happens. No need to play it through, but we'll just take a look, see if it's a good contract. So what's North got? 10. 5, 6, 10, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Right. Seems like a good bid. So we've got no spades to lose unless something disastrous happens. Looks like we're going to lose a heart. That's all we're going to lose. So nice, easy 12 tricks. What a simple option. So simple, wasn't it? Diamond, mm. spade, four spades, six spades. Lovely. 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 Okay. So there you go. So that's jumping the game in a nutshell. That's so helpful. Marion, thank you again for sending that in. Graham, thanks for taking the time for explaining this to us. Uh, on the YouTube page, leave a comment, leave a question below. We always love hearing from you. And of course, to all the students in Graham's class, thank you for supporting the class. Thank you. Yeah. See you again.